Second game on Sunday, assuming all the games go ahead, is uh, America and Tonga. I've just recorded a video about Namibia and Canada, and in a similar situation are these two teams. It's basically their World Cup final. Uh, neither of these teams have a win yet. They're both 0-3. Uh, in terms of the table, the Tongans are slightly ahead because they did get a losing bonus point against France. So they are in fourth on one point. The Americans are, are fifth on no points, but as I said, both teams have lost uh, all three of their games so far. They're not going to progress through this tournament. This is their one last hit out to try and pick up a win. So, yeah, both these teams will, will be fighting it out and uh, trying desperately to walk away with their heads held high. Um, you know, do that for their fans um, and whatnot. So it should be an interesting game. These teams have got a fair bit of rugby history. Uh, I don't believe the Americans have ever beaten... Oh, no, was it one win? Uh, over Tonga, but in the last five, it's it's been all Tonga. Um, the last USA win year was in 1999, so it's it's been a long time since the the Eagles have tasted a victory uh, over Tonga. But you feel like American rugby is is slowly ticking along and and just you know making making decent improvements on the way. Win over Scotland a few years ago uh, was kind of testament to that. Um, and yeah, for Tonga, they've been kind of middling, I guess. I mean, they got beaten horrendously by the All Blacks in New Zealand, and then they almost beat France. So, uh, you know on their day, they can definitely uh, put in a good shift. So I think the Tongans will still go into this one uh, as favorites. I'll get to the, the bookies and, and the algorithms uh, odds before I finish the vid. But um, yeah, over the last five, it has been Tonga 5-zip, uh, and uh, the average score over those games is 27-14. Uh, in Tonga's favor, or well, the, the last meeting uh, was in 2016, so it's been a while since they've met, and that game was only three points in it, so it was um, Tonga 20, USA 17, so you know pretty close. There, there hasn't been that much between these teams, I guess, uh, in recent years. Teams in the description, uh, the American team looks looks fairly stable. They've still got Braki out in the wing, Lasike is in the midfield, Blaine Scully is still captaining from the wing, uh, McGinty. Uh, is their, their kind of main guy at 10, and he sticks to, to that spot. So, uh, you know, Taufete, Lamosetele, these guys are all, all pretty stock standard. So uh, the Americans are definitely not just rolling the changes uh, for this final game. Uh, for Tonga, uh, likewise, you've still got Seali Piatau there, Hingano is there at, uh, at 13. Uh, Vianu is in at 15, and he's been, been very good. Uh, Losi is still there. Uh, Kalamafoni, so Capelli, for some of these guys it might be their last game, I mean, I think it was Kalamafoni and Pietau were still there in that 2011 squad to beat France, so it has been uh, quite the career for some of these guys, and they will, if, I don't know if they're going to continue, if they're going to retire, but uh, either way they'll want to sign off on a high. Uh, if you look at the overall pool, uh, USA's points difference is minus 90, 90, and for, for Tonga it's minus 52, so I think over the course of the games, you'd probably give the edge to Tonga. That being said, uh, Rugby Forecast has got the USA, this is the algorithm, got the USA by two points in this one. Um, interesting pick. I guess our other recent results are taken into account, not just the head-to-head. -head. And uh, the bookies, though, have got Tonga by four points. So that one's a split. Usually the bookies and the algorithm uh, kind of go on the same way, but for this one, uh, they are backing uh tonga so um yeah it should be a really interesting game in terms of their their like rest periods the usa uh played argentina on on wednesday so it's a pretty short turnaround for them uh tonga played uh france on sunday so for them they've kind of had the week so in terms of rest period you'd give the edge to tonga for this one but um yeah it should be a good game like i said lots to play for in terms of the individuals if not in the the greater scheme of the rugby world cup but um yeah you guys let me know your thoughts on this one and up to you again soon see you later